Hi, my name is Moritz Janisch. I'm a filmmaker from Frankfurt, Germany, but you also may remember me as the footage guy. But in this video, I will be talking about the X-T2, which just got a new firmware upgrade. It can now shoot F-Log, which is Fuji's flat picture profile, and it can also shoot 120 frames per second in full HD. While we were at NAB in Las Vegas, I already had the chance to play with a new X-T2 firmware update and I actually took it out to the streets. I filmed both in daytime and nighttime, low ISO, high ISO shots in F-Log and at 120 frames per second. And overall, I have to say I'm pretty impressed. Even though it's great that Fuji has included that new feature recording F-Log and 120 frames per second, the main issue with F-Log is still that it's limited to recording internally 100 Mbps, which means it's not very high. If you want to grade the footage, there could still be some issues, especially if you shoot at night at a high ISO, there could still be some noise issues. In general, it's fine to shoot at 100 Mbps in 4K. I mean, if you have a baked-in picture profile like previously and you don't want to grade that much, it's totally fine. But if you want to grade the footage properly, there can be some issues, especially because the footage is also not 10-bit, but only 8-bit. Now it's really all about personal preferences and what you really need as a filmmaker. Maybe if you're not a filmmaker, it's completely different which camera you would pick. I personally would still say the X-H1 has more features. It's newer, of course it's more expensive, but it depends on what work you do. I choose the X-H1 obviously because of IBIS, internal image stabilization, which is pretty cool. I can just put a prime lens on that has no internal image stabilization and I can just shoot handheld no problem, which the X-T2 cannot do. But if you say you shoot mostly with a tripod or you're not a big handheld fan, then the X-T2 is probably even the better choice. And of course, 100 Mbps in 4K for me is not really usable if I want to shoot 4K F-Log, but maybe for you it's fine or maybe you don't even need F-Log. So then the X-T2 is still fine recording at 100 Mbps 4K. The X-H1 can record 200 Mbps. So it's all about personal preferences. That's it from me. Don't forget to follow us on MySpace and I'll see you next time. Bye.